Hey guys, so today we're gonna head out to um, pick up something that I purchased a few days ago. Um, with all this virus stuff going on around, I was kind of bored on the internet and uh, I purchased something that's maybe gonna keep us busy for a bit here. Um, so we're gonna head out and pick it up today. It's definitely the craziest thing I've ever purchased and owned and uh, hopefully my plan is to start a channel based on that and record the whole process and everything for it and uh, hopefully it's gonna help out some people um, so I'm gonna take you along and show you what I purchased I'm not gonna say anything yet because it's quite a surprise and quite the interesting purchase I would call it so right now at the moment I do have a couple projects on the go so I have my old 280c in the back there always have my dirt bikes uh, probably you can still see my quad back there um, anyway um, I'll take you along and show you what it is Uh, get the plate and right now we're gonna head out guys so we got here to pick up our big buy so I got the keys in my hand and this is definitely not it and I'll show you here there's some GM keys um, thank God I brought my uh, my mic so there's a lot of crazy things out here and which item do you think I bought this thing's cool too. I kind of wish I bought that too, but don't have the space for it. So what I actually bought was that big yellow thing back there. Yes, I bought a school bus. And my plan is to transform it into a camper RV style type. So, um, and I want to document the whole transformation, make as many videos as I can with all the progress and everything on it so um, yeah it's gonna be a long ride and we got time so um, let me show you a close-up it's a 2001 GM so looks pretty good um, actually shorter than I thought it'd be. Um, <laughs> this is it. Oh my goodness. This is pretty cool. So as you can see lots of uh, lots of seats here. Um, I'm just trying to start it up. Let's see if it starts up. But yeah I plan on uh, doing a conversion camper conversion so we'll see how that goes. Cold start. Oh my gosh. Looks like the batteries are fucking dead. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, I'm gonna have to get these guys to boost it or something. Oh my gosh. Is that reverse? Drive neutral. Okay, I'm gonna have to get these guys to boost it for me 
and see where it ends. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool and interesting. Oh my gosh, there's lots of things to learn on this thing. Hopefully the door closes. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty cool here. How to get this thing going? I do hear some noises here. No. Oh, and by the way, it's only got a hundred forty thousand keys and three quarter tank gas or diesel. So I told them to come and help me boost this thing because it looks like somebody left the ignition on. But anyway, kind of waiting here and taking a better look at this thing. It's pretty cool, not going to lie. And I only paid uh, $1,500 for this, right? So I guess I was too bored at home with this whole Corona thing. Um, and I thought it was pretty cool. I watched a few YouTube videos on how people convert them. And uh, I thought, why not try it? I got some of the skills. I know electrical, plumbing, and all that stuff. Pretty handy with wood and all these things. So, yeah. Hopefully it's going to be a fun adventure. And uh, hopefully you can follow and uh, kind of see the whole transformation. My plan right now is to do um, videos for each step and uh, upload them to, of course, YouTube and uh, maybe with some of the money or sponsorships that I get that I could uh, invest in the bus as well, right? So, yeah, I'm going to go outside and have a look and see if they came with the boosting unit. So, yeah, so we're still waiting for the guys to come and boost us up. Um, and we kind of took a, there's me, I just playing around with the controls and everything. Um, so we kind of took a quick look. Like I said, this is smaller than I thought. I can't remember what the, how, how long it is. Um, but what I plan on doing is master bedroom back there. Uh, maybe a queen or a, yeah, queen or a king size bed. Um, we'll do bunk, two bunk beds on the side here. Uh, on this side, I plan on doing a shower, bathroom, and then at the front here, on the one side, we'll do a kitchenette, and then a couch and kind of like the living area is going to be at the front here. So. And then there's an emergency hatch here. Maybe we could do a skylight or something. Um, it looks in pretty decent condition for the year. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's going to come along pretty nice. I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with all these benches. And uh, maybe give them away to people so they can afford them in their garage. And we might have to lock up this back door that's obviously not locked and that might have something to do with starting it I think the back door was open no still dead That looks like a freaking spaceship here. Yeah. Oh, so it looks like the guy came to boost us up. Okay, let's go out and uh, figure it out. I'll be right back. Alright you guys, so we got the bus started. Apparently that um, the battery was smaller than it should be. I'll have to change that and but we got it running and the engine sounds really good and like i said it's only got a hundred forty thousand kilometers which is pretty good 
there's this buzzing noise that's coming from that like mother control panel there and I'm not sure what it is um, but I gotta let it warm up a little bit maybe charge the battery um, on it and um, we're gonna head home and uh, show it to my wife my son is very excited he can't wait for us to get home and I think that's pretty cool too um, I'm gonna have to lock this back door because from what I know if the back door opens then the whole bus stops or doesn't start or something like that so we'll have to figure that out but from here on it's uh it's all learning about school buses and stuff and one of the interesting and cool and weird things that I found out in the same time is that it doesn't have a park so it's got like it's got reverse neutral drive and it's got the one two three so apparently you just have to put it in neutral and put the handbrake on and uh, go from there I guess so but all in all even the guy that came and boosted the bus he's like how much did you pay for this thing I'm like well 1500 he's like wow that's really good for the mileage and the condition like that look at this, these seats they're in really good condition just dusty so I don't know hopefully either give them away or sell them and make some money so I can start paying for um, paying for some of the stuff that I'm gonna do to it so it's gonna be quite an interesting uh, journey and hopefully you guys can follow along and get I can get to the end and uh, show you guys the full transformation of the bus and take it from what is like a normal school bus with benches and everything to a complete transformation so um, yeah I'm gonna wait for it to warm up pretty good here okay guys uh, I'm not gonna lie to you this thing it drives very very good like when you expect to drive a school bus I honestly didn't think I would drive this smooth um, and that gets me even more excited to our end goal and uh, one of the small issues that I'm having right now is I'm driving on the highway and it's telling me that I am doing about 100 kilometers an hour which is roughly 55 miles an hour and but the thing is I called my brother-in-law in the back which he's in uh, in my car and I said how fast are we going he's like yeah we're doing about 90 and what I'm guessing and what I think right off the bat is that it has a limiter because you don't want to go too fast with the kids in these buses so that's one of the first things that we have to remove and because we cannot drive down a highway doing 90 because that's definitely way too slow um, other than that the engine drives very smooth like I can't lie at 140,000 kilometers this thing's mint um, yeah but just wanted to give you a quick update on my way home here it I'm really enjoying it and uh, um, I can't wait to get my hands dirty and start uh, start planning things out and uh, lining things up so uh, it's uh, it's quite exciting. I'm just trying to drive and find it, figure out in the same time to let other vehicles pass and big trucks passing by me, and they're thinking, why is this guy going so slow? Well, it's because these things have a limiter to keep your kids safe. That's why I'm driving slow. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna get home pretty soon here, and we'll park it and start planning out some things um, this is gonna be the first video hope you guys liked it thanks for watching guys and um, enjoy your day see ya